good. All right, welcome back to Thinking Out Loud. I better sit down, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm just all excited. And I'm excited about our next segment, too, because you have read in the paper about the new animal services facility. It's, it's gorgeous. It's going to help get animals adopted. And we sent our intrepid Lorenzo Brooks out to do this package to bring us the inside story on the animal Yay. services facility. So let's get oh. Lorenzo out here. Ray got it too. Oh. See you, Ray. How you doing? How's it going? Hey. How's it going, hey. What's up, man? Nice to see you. Uh, Lorenzo Brooks, but right. we call you Brooks. Brooks, here you that's go. Right. That's right. And you have been intrepid. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you've been out there doing the story. Yeah, I've been out there doing all the dirty work, man. All the dirty work, you know, Ooh. smells and all at the end. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Well, you, so it's still, it's brand new, but it smells like yeah, animals. you know, when it comes to animals, you just some things you just can't avoid. You know, they look good, the place yeah. looks good, but once you get on there, you walk past the dogs, a woof. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, man. that's part of their charm. Yeah, it wakes you, you know? up, though. Yeah. A yeah. lovely experience. <laughs> now, did you hear all the music? Did you knew all those songs? Yeah, I knew everything from the um, the guy before. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm a, I'm a musician. We do these things. Oh, that's right. Lorenzo's a drummer. Yeah, yeah he's exactly. He's lying. He didn't know any of that. I don't think so. Either. <laughs> I know a little well, bit. Well, tell me about this animal facility, because I've right. been hearing all about it. Yeah, you've been hearing about it. Um, there's a new animal facility here in Chesapeake, and a uh, brand new state-of-the-art facility. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, very, very spacious, and a lot of animals they have there. It's a beautiful thing, but... Um, well, most animal services facilities do have a lot of animals. Yeah, they got more so you, than a lot, so, though. Oh, more okay. than a lot. Uh, well, Plethora. A plethora? <laughs> yeah. Let's take well, let's a look. just get into the clip, let's man. Let's take a look. <laughs> You hear the barks, you see the eyes, and watching them run looks oh so familiar. Sadly enough, we all have memories seeing at least one animal in a not so pleasant situation. However, the city of Chesapeake has taken a bold step towards making a difference in the lives of our four-legged friends. Superintendent Strauss, this is a beautiful new facility you guys got here. Can you tell me how did it come about? Well, this project spanned approximately five years, and originally the city considered renovating the old place. But we were so far out of the public view and so hidden, um, and, and of course there were other reasons, the city made the decision to build. And while it is a beautiful structure, first and foremost, the facility was built with the future and functionality in mind. These cages uh, for cats are powder coated metal and they can be opened up so that if we have room or a need, we can make this a double cage. We can also open them up from top to bottom and make these two one holding space. You'll notice the materials in there. For example, the, the runways for the dogs are made of glazed block instead of painted cinder block. That glazed block will last much, much longer than the old cinder block construction. The gates are stainless steel, so we won't have issues with rusting and pitting. Among the many new features of the facility is a renewed sense of making sure that the animals are fit for adoption. Great care was taken in the design of the dog room where a four foot wall complete with plants was installed as a barrier between the two rows of dog cages. This keeps the dogs from seeing each other and becoming agitated and aggressive. Likewise for the cats. Some of the cages are abutted against windows which lets the animals look outside. The old facility, located in a dilapidated building in the Cavalier Industrial Park, was so far off the beaten path, it was not beneficial to the overall mission of animal control. But the location of the new center on Military Highway has brought several new benefits. Our lost animal returns have gone up dramatically. Adoptions are going up because people come here and it is open and filled with light and they feel comfortable adopting an animal from a facility like this. Of course it helps adoption rates when an animal is well behaved. Along with the physical benefits of the shelter, the center works with the animals so that they will make great pets. Ernie, can you tell me about the little buddy you got right here? 
Yeah, this is Pedro, and he was surrendered a couple weeks ago, and we've been working with trying to get him socialized and more comfortable with people. And he seems to be coming along a great deal. So tell me, Susan, uh, what makes you come here and volunteer at a center like this? The dogs, the cats, they all need some attention, more attention than what they're getting. Every one of these dogs needs a home. And, and if I can just spend 15 minutes or 20 minutes with each one of them and take them out and give them fresh air, that makes their day and that makes my day. All right, so superintendent, brand new facility, built to last a very long time. What are some of the visions that you see for this facility in the future? Lorenzo, you're right. This is a shelter for today, tomorrow, and many years to come. It is a shelter that the citizens of Chesapeake can be so proud of, a place where they will feel confident adopting, a place that they can easily find when they've lost a pet, We've got a lot of special events, adoption events in the near future, so stay tuned. We are going to be making things happen for the animals in Chesapeake. Uh, you okay now? Yeah, I'm all right, man. Did, now, how, many, how many did you bring home? Cat, um, dogs? What? I'm going to wait because actually on April 20th, they're having a pajama party where they'll be having adoptions at a discounted price. Very good. So I'm going to wait till then and bring some home. But however, some people have already stepped up to the plate and adopted some pets early. A um, couple of few statistics. Last year in January 2012, 33 adoptions. This year, already at 54 adoptions. Oh, fantastic. So the new facility is a beautiful place. It is just bringing in a whole new, ushering a whole new feel for everybody to want to go ahead and just adopt a new pet so that's cool i tell you know I, I i have two dogs you know and a cat i'm and they're they're all like they're all mixed breeds and everything they're the best dog and it doesn't cost that much yeah you know so it, you get you help a dog and and it doesn't cost that much to make your family happy definitely and um go to www.cityofchesapeake.net and go to the police department and animal services is actually underneath the police department with the police force so go ahead and for those of you at home, if you're sitting at home and you're watching this, you know, pick up the phone and call 757-382-8080 because your life is passing you by. So why don't you go ahead, why don't you go volunteer and get a pet. Do it today. You're still sitting there? Get up and do it. <laughs> yes. Yes, he's got that spring fever going. There you go. That's what passion, that's what we need, bro. All right, That's man. what we need. My man, <laughs> Thank you. It. Thank you. Great report. Really appreciate it. All right. We're out of time for this segment. So please stay with us because we have more to come. We'll be right back.